Have you ever went fishing and the planets align and something special happens? Well, the following is a catch I will remember for a long time. Let's see what unfolds. Oh, this is near the end of the box of worms. The worms look kind of nasty. I had them for about three months in the fridge. Tries for some bluegill. It's so nasty, I'm balling it up like that. It can't keep its shape anymore. It doesn't even look like a worm. But I think bluegill will go for that because it smells good, it's nasty. They love nasty. Okay, this is a different kind of catch for me. It's a detergent container. I'll throw that away. Do my good deed for the lake. Yeah! Pumpkin seed. With a spoiled piece of worm. They love it. on the deep side, the drop off right down beyond these weeds. That's where he was hiding. See, smaller hook does the trick. <laughs> Small one hiding under this. Feeling light. It's good to know something's there. Oh, it's still there. Tiny worm is still on the hook. I'll use it again. Oh. Oh god. Here is where something feels different on my line. Feels like a snag at first, but it's not. Whatever it is, it's pulling my boat. I soon realize it is big. Wait for it. It's a nice fat carp. I have no idea how to land a carp let alone in a canoe. I just hope I don't flip overboard while pulling in the carp. Easy does it. Success! I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, first thing, get the hook out of the mouth. Is that a beautiful fish or what? Beautiful carp. I have to look up what kind of carp this is. It's like gold. Golden carp. That's what I'm gonna call it for now. Golden carp. This hook is so small that there's not much of a shank on it. Oh, it's free. It's free. Can I lip grip a, a giant carp? Uh, I don't have good leverage really. No, it's, it's too heavy. I can't lip grip it. Oh, this is so exciting. My first. My first carp. Wrap this around. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, okay. It is seven and a half pounds. Seven and a half pounds. Man. Oh god. So long. It is 26 inches, 26 inches, seven and a half pound carp, my first. I snagged one once, but it got off. It was barely hooked. I was going for shad, but I got a carp. Look at that, right on a tail. Can I consider that a catch? Let's see if I can bring it in. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna 
bring my net too, but I didn't. I didn't bring my net. Oh, shoot. Oh, I knew it. Probably not the proper way to handle a carp because they're so fragile, but I gotta take the picture of this guy. It's beautiful. Look how fat it is. Oh my god, it's wonderful. Beautiful specimen. Golden color. Giant scales. Oh, there's a piece of scale right there. I'm sorry, dude. I just love you so much. I, I just need a quick picture of you. Then I'll let you go. Oh my god. Okay, I can take you off the net at least. Let me let him or her breathe. And then I'm gonna tip over, I know it. <laughs> it needs to breathe. It's slimy. Wow. That's awesome, folks. One more quick look, please. I'm sorry. You're beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I'll let you loose on that. It was fighting so hard. Yeah, 24 inches long. Two feet long. In the sun, in the sun. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Gotta let it go. Okay. Oh. Let it breathe. Looks like it's doing okay. Looks like it's doing just fine. Ready, folks? There it goes. Thank you so much. Hey, folks, that was so awesome. I can't believe I caught that fish with my Fenwick Eagle two piece rod meant for light panfish and a drop shot, size 10 hook. And there was a small ball of worm on it. I never knew you can drop shot for a carp. Here's a heavy white, it was probably banging on the bottom. Carp are very disturbed and very spooked by any kind of weird disturbance, anything suspicious, it'll just will not bite. But it did. I have to find out what it is, look it up, and I'll leave it in a notes of what kind of carp that was. That was a beauty. Hey, thanks so much for watching, folks. Thanks for your support. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time on my Outdoor Nature channel.